Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about Fred Claus and this movie came out in 2007 and it stars Vince Vaughn, Paul Giamatti, Rachel Wise, Elizabeth Banks, Kevin Spacey and it was really boring and I hated this movie. To start off, I really did not like uh, the acting in this movie. I thought Vince Vaughn was terrible in it. The child acting was really bad as well. I never believed their characters and... To top that off, uh, even the characters are awful, and Paul Giamatti, he's probably the best part of the movie, but uh, he's still not good. There's nothing about his performance that uh, made it stand out as, like, anything great, or I never really believed him as Santa Claus. And Kevin Spacey, like, his character's pointless and doesn't need to be in the movie, and uh, honestly, if you removed his character from the film entirely, you would save... Uh, at least half an hour of this movie because this movie just drags on forever and it just stays on the same joke forever and it has such an awful sense of pacing and none of the comedy was funny i didn't like the soundtrack choices i hated the music because it was just telling you how to feel instead of earning the earning the emotions that it was presenting to you and also, uh, when it came to the comedy, I just kept uh, asking myself, where's the joke here? Sometimes it's uh, the most obvious thing ever, but other points I was just thinking to myself, is that all this has to offer, just surface level nonsense and nothing else? They're not self-aware about it, and it's just in your face, and there's nothing to it. There's no bite to it, and... Like I said earlier, this movie's got good actors in it, but unfortunately, the movie gives them nothing to do. Like Rachel Wise, she's excellent in The Favorite, but in here, she's given nothing to do, just like everyone. And Vince Vaughn, he's a terrible main character, and I just can't get behind him. I'm sorry, I don't like him at all in this movie. And I really hated the whole angle of Christmas being a business angle like it was so unnecessary and that's basically what kevin spacey's character is there for and it just ruins the pacing if the pacing wasn't already bad enough <laughs> like this movie's two hours long it does not need to be two hours long it can easily be an hour and a half and it would be better not great better and unfortunately that didn't happen the special effects were laughably bad they did not hold up in the slightest when characters are riding on a Santa sleigh and you see the reindeer. It looks like someone is just moving them with a pen and it aged poorly. <laughs> I could not believe what I was looking at. And I found it incredibly odd that this is supposed to be a Christmas movie and also kind of a kid's movie and also a comedy. However, the movie does take itself very seriously and because of that I can't really enjoy the tone of the film like that it's trying to be it's trying to be a comedy kids movie like some light fun entertainment and I just I didn't even get that I thought uh, the acting sucked I thought the characters sucked I thought the story sucked everything sucked it's dated it's boring and unspecial and does not offer anything that any other Christmas movie has already done. And also, nothing in this movie makes any sense, and it's just doing whatever it feels like, and there's no rhyme or reason to anything that's happening in the movie whatsoever. And I could forgive that if the movie was actually entertaining, but uh, I was not entertained by anything, and I was just bored out of my mind. So, unfortunately, I cannot recommend this movie to you. Stay far away from this movie. It's bad, boring, unfunny, and just painful to sit through. And with all that being said, I'm going to give Fred Claus a 1 out of 10. Thank you for watching my videos. As always, if you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below you thought Fred Claus and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Bully Nation, and I'll see you when I get my next review up. And that is going to be for... Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. The theatrical cut. In case anyone's wondering. Because there's two versions of that movie. 
I'm going to be talking about the theatrical cuts, not the Ultimate Edition, which is three hours long and also rated R. I, I'm going to be talking about the two and a half hour long version that's PG-13. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching and have a great day.